I do waste my money, but I still waste them with some, you know, uh, thought behind. Hi, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Thank you for joining me today for this massive Vestier Collective haul. Uh, we are going to go over 10 designer items. Uh, it will be a lot of Gucci, Fendi, some Prada, some vintage Louis Vuitton uh, and a couple of uh, items which are like less, you know, luxury uh, brands. Uh, so let's get into it. By the way, if you are here first time, my name is Natalia and I am self-admitted shameless shopaholic and I post on YouTube videos how I spend my money or how I waste my money. So if shopping is something you like, uh, luxury handbags, styling outfits and all the fun stuff we women enjoy, please consider joining my anonymous shopaholic club down below. And if you consider yourself a shopaholic, please give a like to that video so we are not alone. Now let's just jump into it. But I want to tell you also like a little bit story uh, how I start shopping on Vestier, why and so on. Uh, so if you watched some of my previous videos, uh, I was so desperate that I couldn't travel and I couldn't uh, go shopping uh, in the spring that I started looking for alternatives. Uh, and one of the websites which people recommend was Vestier Collective. Then you can get the items authenticated uh, so it feels more safe. So I wouldn't go myself shop on Instagram. Uh, I, I'm too afraid of that. Uh, so I was going for something that it was relatively safe, uh, even though there are some stories apparently uh, up, uh, about Vestier that there are some, some items might slip through the uh, verification process uh, which are not authentic, which is actually very scary. Uh, so when I was starting, I had no contact with luxury items. I mean, like I didn't have my hands on any Louis Vuitton, Prada, Gucci. I didn't know how to authenticate them. Uh, so I didn't want to waste my money. Yeah, I do waste my money, but I still waste them with some, you know, uh, thought behind. Well, basically, I wanted to try and start uh, with items which are not extremely expensive. Uh, so I wanted to put my foot into it and see how it goes, how is the process and, and so on. Uh, so I was looking for the vintage items first uh, and something which is not really expensive. And actually, the most expensive item here is uh, cost 530 euro uh, so and they are uh, from hundred something euro so let's start with the first item so the first bag that i was eyeing uh, and it's because i have some obsession about blue recently and i'm looking for a blue bag but i haven't found the perfect one i guess yet uh, so i was looking for a blue and that caught my attention and i don't know if it's really uh, vintage but it's definitely like older style um, so i got this fendi tote uh, it's blue leather. It's uh, how is it called? Celeria, Celeria uh, style or, or group? I, I don't know. actually. Actually, I'm not familiar with that. Uh, it has a small. It has this small top handle that you can actually put on your shoulder because it's uh, big enough, and then it has that long strap as well. Uh, the bag is actually made very well. The lining inside is also leather, but it's not super heavy, at least for me. Uh, it's not super heavy. Uh, and I haven't used that bag uh, yet. That was like kind of bag that I was buying to try. Uh, and the bag was there for over 200, probably nearly 300 euro. Uh, and it was on discount and I actually managed to get it for uh, 160 euro. And then it was my first purchase. So then I got some uh, coupon off, I don't know, 20 euro or something. So I think with authentication, I paid for this bag around 150 euro. So yeah, it doesn't look very sexy now because it's just hanging, but when I was stuffing it uh, before, it actually looks very nice. With the rest of the bags, I will not follow the order exactly, which um, I don't remember exactly also how it was. Uh, but one of the probably second or the third bag I uh, negotiated was a Gucci tote. It's also kind of vintage. Uh, I don't know how old it is, but maybe let me show you. So I got this one and I negotiated the price of this one up to 130 euro, which I think for a Gucci tote, it's really a steal. <laughs> like 130 euro. And you know, I sent all of the designer items for authentication. So Vestier authenticated them. So. Um, they are probably authentic, <laughs> unless uh, yeah, there are some issues with it. Uh, I didn't do a second authentication with them. Uh, I just uh, believe that I trust Vestier. And also, uh, with purpose, I was uh, buying items which are not extremely expensive. Of course, I don't want to waste even 100 euro on a fake item, uh, but still it will 
eventually hurt less if something would go wrong uh, if I spend like, you know 100 or 200 euro on something than if I would spend 2000 so that's why I actually don't shop uh, on those second-hand uh, websites for very expensive bags uh, I just I just don't dare to do that <laughs> like I, I'm afraid to spend a lot of cash on those second-hand uh, uh, websites and also, like, I am a deal girl, like, I am a bargain. Uh, I look for something that is, you know, if I go for second-hand market, I want to buy something, you know, cheaper. Not to pay over the retail or some kind of crazy money. Like, I just, I just can't do that. Like, I just say no to that. Like, I'm not paying more the retail. And if I go for, like, used item, I rather want to uh, pay less than I would pay in the store. And I, uh, if it's something which is relatively cheap, um, then I go for second-hand market or if it's something like the palace clutch from Louis Vuitton which was not available so that's why I went for the pre-loft way uh, but in general if I have to spend a lot of money I will go to a store uh, and I haven't been in love with any of the items so much that I had to go for resellers and pay a couple of thousands of euro for a second-hand bag uh, so Anyway, uh, this Gucci tote, uh, actually I love the color of it. I love this uh, light blue uh, canvas. I wish they would make more of those now, this kind of beautiful, colorful uh, and shiny. It has this beautiful shine to it. I really love that. Um, my idea actually about this bag was that I will use it as my uh, carry, uh, to carry my laptop to work. Uh, but the size of the bag actually doesn't really go well with the size of my laptop. Like it, it, it has, bigger bottom than I was thinking and it's not tall enough to even put my laptop like you know uh, this way so yes so that is the Gucci uh, tote that I got the next item uh, is also a Gucci handbag uh, so maybe I will just show you first and then start talking so we have some some eye candy right let me show you this beautiful uh, Gucci hobo style bag uh, this one as far I remember comes from around 2008 uh, the girl who was uh, who listed that, it's, she said that she used it a couple of times and I actually can't believe that because when the bag came it was brand new. There was no single wear on tear, uh, no single sign of use really on that bag. And actually I damaged the bag the first time I used it uh, because I used it in Spain and uh, apparently I had some clothing or some... Uh, I don't know if it was from uh, SPF. Uh, that that leather here worn off uh, so that bag is very very sensitive uh, and I was really heartbroken about it uh, yeah but that's what happened so really I got really new bag uh, and I negotiated the price of this bag for uh, to 240 euro I think originally she had it for over 300 um, and I managed to get it for 240 which I think is also very good price uh, I was in love with that canvas because if you will see here, it's like a liquid gold with pink. It's just stunning. And when you wear it in sun, it's it's so, so beautiful that I, I just can't handle it. Like I, I love that. And I think it's good that they don't produce them now, this kind of canvas, because I would be in trouble probably buying a lot of items or several bags with this canvas uh, style. It's, I, I just love it. So it's so beautiful. Uh, and I figured that that bag is called uh, uh, Abby, Abby uh, or D-ring bag, because it has those three D-rings here. And the tip how to get that bag cheap is to look for a Jackie, uh, Jackie bag because the Jackie bag is now popular, but this is not the Jackie bag. And people often list this bag as Jackie bag. And then they are just standing there, uh, they are staying there on vestiaire, nobody's buying them because they think that this is a, uh, not a Jackie bag and it is listed as Jackie bag. And if people were actually listing that bag with the proper name as Abby or D-ring bag, uh, it costs nearly 500 euro or the, the price that they asked for was nearly 500 euro uh, over 400 uh, so I think that was a really really good deal um, and I love it and I've seen them a couple of them also later on last year uh, so if I find one I will of course link the bags if I find them I will link them uh, down below and I like this bag so much that guess what I actually bought, um, bought another one like this in black so that's the second one in black in black canvas this bag it was used more you can i can feel that the canvas is soft uh, i can 
if I look close, I can see some wear on the leather, but because it's black, it just doesn't matter. It doesn't, you cannot see that uh, wear. Uh, and I used this bag a few times and I wasn't sure if I would like that hobo style and I was like, I'm buying two bags in this style and I have no idea if I even like this style. But I love it. They are designed in a way that you put them on your shoulder and they actually stay here. Uh, so to be honest, uh, if I find more of the colors, um, I've seen some in leather, but I didn't want to go for leather after having experiences with this leather wearing off so quickly and it was uh, in cream, it was beautiful. Uh, but I said, no, 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 I'm not going to uh, risk that the leather will wear off. Uh, so if there is coming some other nice color in, in this canvas, I might actually buy it because it's so, so nice. Um, and this bag, I, uh, I actually was just, you know, <laughs> sometimes you just sit in the bed with your phone and you're kind of shopping, kind of bored or kind of whatever. And I saw that bag and I was like, okay, I will send the offer. They will probably not accept it. So whatever. And I sent them offer, I think 165 euro. And then they sent me back 180. And I was like, okay, I think I have to go for it. So I got it for 180 euro. That's the second Gucci Abbey D-ring uh, bag that I have. And I noticed that this bag also comes in, in a tote style uh, and I'm eyeing one of them in black. Um, the problem is I don't need that tote bag. Um, but I really like it. I just have something about those D rings here, about that design, that I really like this about this uh, in these bags. Uh, yeah, well, I'm a woman. You cannot understand. You just have to love the whole package and the whole mess that comes. Uh, and one of the things that also attracted me to that black bag, uh, which I didn't buy that bag uh, that I saw, but somebody listed that bag and had this with, uh, I don't know, Twilly or something, which was uh, white and red. And it looks so cute, so nice, like this black bag and that red and white detail that that was actually like, that made me like, oh, I need black one too, I need black one too. Uh, and that one was gone um, while I was uh, fighting with my, you know, brain that, you know, I should be rational. Um, then that, that, that other one was gone and then later that's why I bought this one. Um, uh, and I managed to get that uh, Twilly in uh, H&M, so uh, I'm planning to use it. And it's not exactly the same, but I think it will do pretty well and it looks very cute uh, with this. And then if you are in the Gucci department, uh, I also got a Gucci scarf. Uh, and to be honest, uh, I was questioning if this is a real scarf, because like the scarf was 135 euro. That's the scarf uh, that I got. It's brand new with a tag. Uh, and I was thinking like, how is it possible that they, they can sell a Gucci scarf for 135 euro when I uh, checked they are supposed to cost around 300. Uh, but later actually in a Gucci outlet, I've seen them for around that price, like 140, 150 euro. I've seen a couple of them. So probably that's uh, why they're authentic. Um, so probably it's not something unusual. I was just saying that this is so cheap that it's very weird. And of course, again, I send it to Vestier for authentication and it passed the authentication. Uh, but yeah, I was also questioning because because I've heard those gossips. Uh, I mean, it's probably not gossips, but you know, those uh, stories about uh, things which are slipping through authentication on Vestier and they are not uh, real. If anybody knows how to authenticate a Gucci scarf, uh, if if you have any concerns or what I should look, let me know and I would actually like to learn. And before I show you the next bag, uh, which is vintage Louis Vuitton, uh, let's have a look at my outfit of the day because I just got this uh, knit uh, in agent them yesterday in this lilac color. I walk in there and I'm like, okay, I'm walking out with that item. Thank you, thank you very much. So it just showed up in H&M, so uh, for sure you can go and get it. It is so beautiful, so affordable, so much lilac. I love it. I paired this beautiful knit uh, with old uh, pants that I have from Lindex. Uh, I thought that the colors will go very nice together. And I made this as a casual running errand outfit with New Balance sneakers in silver. So very easy, very nice, a very uh, cute look. And I'm so obsessed with that new piece that I just uh, bought. Uh, anyway, I love those knits, uh, this type of knits from H&M. And I think I have five or six by now. Mm -hmm. But they are really affordable and really cute and then you can shuffle the colors um, up to your wish. Uh, and now let's move to that vintage Louis Vuitton bag that I got. So let me show you. So I got this beautiful baby, uh, which is called Brera. Brera? 
I will write it down below. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Uh, that back is from 2003. So it's kind of nearly vintage. I think it has to be 20 to be vintage. That style was produced from some uh, late 90s. I think until 2012, 13, something like that. I was uh, Googling it and looking at this. What drew me to that bag, it was that shape that, you know, I like the structured uh, kind of square or rectangular shaped bags. Uh, so I was really in love with that shape of the bag and Louis Vuitton doesn't have anything like this uh, new on their website. Uh, so I negotiated with the girl a little bit uh, and I took the price down to uh, 530 uh, and I got this uh, beautiful uh, baby. It has the initials uh, here, but it's actually... Uh, kind of my initial, what my two names, which I just flipped around. Uh, so I was thinking that actually matches too. And I felt it's even safer that this is actually a Louis Vuitton bag. That's, you know, uh, if somebody had that initials uh, stamped that, it means it was uh, authentic bag from Louis Vuitton. And of course it was authenticated uh, by Vestier Collective. And I even got a message from them. So that's maybe an interesting uh, and important tip to tell you that they actually look at the items. So maybe those stories with Vestier making mistakes and letting some you know fake items uh, pass, maybe it depends on the person. Uh, but they checked that bag and they sent me email that the bag is very good, that is authentic. Uh, but they found that there are some more wear than it was reported. Uh, and actually I remember it was stated that the corners are intact, that they are not, uh, there is no corner wear. Uh, however, they found that there was corner wear uh, and it is here and here and a little bit on this side as well. Uh, and they asked me if I want to proceed with the transaction or if I want to cancel the transaction. Uh, so that was very nice of them. So, and um, there was the report that the corners have wear and I wrote to them, so could you please send me pictures really? How is the, and they sent me pictures of the corner wear. Uh, so that was a very good experience and I could see that they really look at the items and that they really, uh, that they really do their job uh, and then even if uh, it was written it's a very good condition they flag that it's not very good condition it's like you know uh, a little bit less than it's what it is described uh, so that's a very good thing about this by the way i'm thinking to make um, a video just about my experience and tips how to shop on vestier what to buy and please let me know in the comments if you would be interested in that so that would make my life easier if i should uh, actually do that video or not uh, but i was thinking it might be actually useful so please please let me know um, if you think that would be that would be something that you are interested in uh, so this is my louis vuitton uh, louis vuitton b something bag uh, which i really really like uh, and another uh, and the, i bought a little strap for the bag because it has those loops here that you, it doesn't come with a strap originally but you can attach a strap so i bought one on amazon uh, just uh, I think it's now connected to my palace clutch. So uh, I use it with palace clutch and I uh, use with this one uh, so I can crossbody it. And H&M again, I bought that little scarf, which I think the colors are going really, really beautiful with this bag. Uh, so of course I'm going to tie that uh, a little bit more professional than that. Uh, but I think you can see that this, this uh, com color combination is so, so cute and sweet. And by the way, why would you pay hell a lot of money for a designer Twilly when you can actually buy something in H&M or somewhere else? Looks cute, does the job. I don't understand. I better save for another bag, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, let's move on. So the next bag is a Prada bag. It's a Prada nylon bag and it's a tote bag also. Uh, it was described as a Prada Tessuto tote, uh, which is more expensive line of nylon bags from Prada. So this is how the bag looks. Uh, it has leather trims. It has leather trims. It has leather pieces here, leather handles, and it has a strap that you can crossbody it. Uh, also leather. Um, and inside it has that typical Prada lining. Uh, I was checking the price of that bag uh, and it seems like it was nearly 1500 euro or something similar. I'm not sure if I could find something exactly the same. And there was only one bag exactly the same uh, on Vestier and it was listed for nearly 900 euro. So I paid for this one 295, so nearly 300. Uh, and I thought it was actually a good deal. So that's how the tag looks like. It has a Vestier uh, logo or some, you know, writing. And on the other side, it has the name of the person who did authentication and the date. Uh, so that's how it comes. 
uh, and also uh, some bags of course because they are vintage or used bags second hand not all of the bags will come with dust pack but i noticed that all of those bags that did not come with a dust pack vestier provided their own dust pack so i have one so i have one of them here to show you how they look so of course it's not uh, nothing special it's just a dust pack but i think they are quite nice for like this kind of free dust pack that they give to the bag uh, i think they are actually quite nice and quite uh, good uh, quality so if the bag doesn't come with uh, original dust pack or the seller doesn't provide any dust pack, uh, Vestier is giving you this. Uh, so that's very nice of them. I want to mention about that Prada that I was a little disappointed uh, because I think it has more wear than it was listed. It was it passed the uh, you know auto, uh, authentication and, and quality control, uh, but I think the lady said that she just used it very briefly, uh, that it doesn't have wear, uh, and this kind of that she's selling it because you know her lifestyle changed and so on. Uh, but I think it has actually that corner a little bit, not that much, but yeah, here I could see that there is some wear on the corners and not that it's a lot, or here is I think the most wor worn one. Uh, and of course I can see some wear on the leather. Uh, it's not a lot, uh, but the way it was presented, it was supposed to be in very good condition. So like nearly, nearly new and you don't see any signs of wear. So I was a little bit disappointed about that fact, but uh, you have time to report to Vestier uh, after you bought the bag and you received the bag uh, that something is not uh, as you wish uh, or as you expected. Uh, but because I cannot get this shipped to Iceland, I had to ship this to my parents. And for a couple of months or almost three months, I was collecting the items uh, and then uh, I just got them and I couldn't do anything pretty much when I received them. So I was taking this kind of risk and that's why uh, that's another reason why I wasn't spending thousands on the bags. I think that's the last of the top top luxury bags and I have I think three items which I want to uh, show you. So maybe let's I have shoes, I have Jordans, maybe let's start with the shoes because they are very beautiful color. Uh, so I scored those Jordans in that beautiful uh, coral, corally orangey salmony pink uh, for 55 euro and they were uh, according to the seller worn once or twice when they came, I actually could not see any wear on them. Uh, so they were in perfect condition. I used them once or twice uh, so far. Uh, they are comfortable, very nice. And I'm actually eyeing a few more pairs of Jordans because you can get them really cheap on Vestier. Uh, so if you are looking for Jordans, go and have a look there. There is actually one, um, which maybe I will show you a picture, which I've seen on Farfetch uh, and I'll put the price. I think it was over 400 or nearly 500 euro or dollars. Uh, and on Vestier, I saw those shoes around 200 uh, euro. So it's like kind of half price. So you can definitely go and hunt for Jordans on Vestier. They sell for even like 50 euro. This item is a coach backpack uh, and that's actually a sale. Uh, and I will explain you why. Uh, so the backpack uh, looks like this. And as you probably can see, it's very blue. It's blue, blue. Uh, what was written on the um, website is that it's a uh, grayish, grayish blue. And the picture were taken in the evening, I think, because the backpack was gray. And I was expecting gray with this kind of shade of blue, like, you know, this kind of interesting color. So I had a lot of expectations about this backpack. Uh, and then when I saw that, I was like, oh my God, that's not what I was expecting. Uh, but I paid for this, uh, 85 euro uh, so uh, well okay i will keep it probably i will use it it's a little fail i wouldn't buy it again but i think i will have a use uh, for that backpack and the quality of course of the backpack is uh, wonderful like i like coach i actually started buying coach items not so long time ago uh, I don't know, I have two or three items and I am really amazed by the quality. So that's how it looks, maybe in the close-up. Uh, it is a nice backpack, I cannot say it's not nice, it's just that what I was expecting it will be was very different. So a tip for you is also to, good, uh, to write to the seller and actually confirm what is the color, especially in colors which are like uh, powder or beige, pow powdery pink or beige, because sometimes it's in with bad light the powdery pink will look like beige. Uh, so it's a good idea actually to write to the seller and uh, I have a fluff here flying around uh, and confirm <laughs> what you are buying actually, which I did not in this case. And then here we go. 
anyway enough the last item which is like really just for fun and i paid for it 40 euro uh, and it's armani jeans uh, furry bag uh, and didn't i tell you on the last video that uh, i actually like furry bags so here you go i got this one armani jeans uh furry bag uh it is a small uh tote you can wear it uh like hold it like this or you can flip it like this put it on your shoulder really cute really tiny and uh, yeah it was just 40 euro uh, so i thought it was a very good price uh and inside it's like new i don't think that this bag has been used at all uh so yeah maybe not the biggest score but kind of fun and i think it fits uh, very well with the trends and i think 40 euro for a trendy piece it's the right price all for that massive uh, haul video from Bestier. please let me know in the comments if you are interested in the video of my tips how to shop there and maybe more details on, on my experience with Vestier. and thank you for watching the video spending some time with me and until next time take care bye <laughs>